friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin, and today I have my very last unboxing of the 2021 Operation Christmas Child collection year. Um, it's a little bittersweet. I'm excited that it's finally time to pack up our car, and Matt and I will get up in the morning and go to the uh, the collection center in our area and drop off all our boxes and all our filler and um, but it is kind of sad for me because um, the community kind of takes a little break there's a little rest in our um, packing and I won't get to see you guys as much as normal um, I do plan on continuing to upload things throughout the year um, whenever I see deals or whenever I make hauls and um, hopefully by about March I will be able to start doing maybe one box a week to show you guys um, what I am packing for the 2022 year. I already have um, several boxes in the making in my little closet over there and I can't wait to get into them and show you guys. So, without further ado, this is our last box for the year and it is a Little Mermaid box for a girl aged 10 to 14. Um, this one is packed in, look how tightly it is packed, it's like bulging. I already took the 107 rubber band off um, you can get these on Amazon and they just help keep them um, contained until they can get to the distribution center where the distribution center will tape them all up. But um, these clear boxes, I get a lot of questions about these. These are actually from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. They do have an online store with um, a few selections, but just like Dollar Tree, you have to order things by the case. And um, whoop, these boxes are actually not on their website. Um, and then even in the store themselves, when you go in the store, these are hard to find. They're not always in stock. So if ever I find them, there's been some years where I couldn't find them at all the whole year. But whenever I find them, I buy as many as I can afford at that time. So I also got this bandana at Daiso and it has Ariel right there because she is our Little Mermaid box. Um, this bandana is actually a princess's bandana. I just folded it so that Ariel would be prominent right on top. And I also put an eraser over here that has Ariel on it. It also has Jasmine and Rapunzel, but um, for, for this purpose, our focus is Ariel. So when we open it up, this is what she will see. Let's go ahead and take out her um, her booklets right up here. Whoop. So um, I don't often buy spirals. I like to include composition notebooks. But when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it because there's our girl Ariel right on top. She is using her dingle hopper to brush her hair. And it says, be the hero of your journey. And I just loved it. It is creased, uh, which isn't my favorite, but it will still work. It is wide roll paper. And um, it is a plastic bound spiral over here. Let me see if I tucked any stickers in this. Nope, the stickers must be on the bottom. So here is her spiral, which I love. I also included this coloring book and activity. Um, it also has this little sticker packet that I popped in there and there's Ariel right there in her, when she has her human legs, that's her dress that she wears. And this is a pretty decent little coloring book. Um, it's with the white paper and it has the dark crisp lines so I really like it. And I think that it's good for a girl aged 10 to 14. It's a little more um, detailed for the coloring. But anyway, here are her stickers and her aerial coloring book. Another book that I got her, which I think this is fascinating, 
is a hand lettering uh, booklet and it teaches her how to write in the um, these fancy letters over here. And so there's plenty of place for her to practice. And if she doesn't want to utilize it for these fancy letters, it's always just a great place to practice your handwriting in general. Um, there are also some pages like this that they give you so that you, once you mastered your hand um, lettering, you can write yourself little signs to post up. And um, there are some like this that already have the words on them. And it says, find your own voice. I just, I thought this was a really interesting book and I found this earlier this year at Dollar Tree. And the last of her large paper things is this tropical floral coloring book. And it is an adult coloring book with lots of very detailed images on it. And I did include her stickers in here, which just fell down, so excuse me while I pick them up. Boop, I'm back. Here are her stickers. So, and they are Disney princesses, and I love them. Love them, love them. Look how fierce she looks. She's just so proud and brave. I love it. Then, right on top, right here, is her plush slash doll. Um, this is Ariel. I got this Ariel um, at Walmart in the clearance for um, after summer clearance. So I, I wanna say that she was still like six or seven dollars, which for me is at the higher end of my wow item um, toys that I like to spend, but she was well worth it because she's so pretty and her hair is so soft, and her tail, like she has little um, scales on her tail, and even she has like a little tutu on with sparkles. So I thought she was really pretty. Then up here, this is her pencil bag, and I got this bag at Daiso. <clears throat> In it, we have a princess eraser. I think I'm covering up Ariel. There's one side of the image. Ooh, come on, focus. And here is the other side. So you get two different images on this large eraser. Um, she also has this pencil, enclosed pencil sharpener. It, the eraser kind of got stuck to it a little bit. Interesting. But here is the image on there, and there is Ariel with all of her princess friends. It's the enclosed eraser. I'm sorry, enclosed pencil sharpener. I get those two words mixed up all the time when I'm doing these videos, so if I ever don't catch it, I hope you, <laughs> you know the difference between the eraser and the pencil sharpener when my brain just goes Pfft. Another thing in here are these earrings, and they are aerial earrings. I also got these at Daiso, and I love getting earrings at Daiso because they are usually clip earrings. Um, and I think that no matter where these earrings go around the world, whether it is common or uncommon for someone to have their ears actually pierced, they can still use these earrings because they are clips. Um, I also put in here several pencils. Let's see, she has, sorry, Bella's playing in the living room with her toys. She has um, one, two, three, four, five, six specialty pencils and two number two pencils, a multi-click pen from Daiso, um, two highlighters, and some pencil cap erasers. And that is what is in her adorable Ariel pencil bag. Also on the back, it says Ariel in cursive. So, and these are just the instructions that came with the calculator that's somewhere else down in the book, the box. So that is her pencil bag. I also included these face masks for her. There are three. This one is reusable and it has a precious 
mermaid on it. It's not actually a like Disney licensed Ariel, but it's the same colors and so I love it. And it does have the metal bendy part up here to squish around her nose. And then two disposable face masks. I have also included this beautiful puzzle. I did take it out of the box so that it would better fit, but I thought that this was such a beautiful depiction of Ariel and Flounder down there. And I put it in this really thick, uh, reusable Ziploc baggie. I have included a women's t-shirt. I'm not gonna undo it because it is so tightly wrapped uh, but I can tell you that it is a women's small and it is the really soft fabric material and it is a v-neck um, But it's just a plain purple t-shirt that I thought um, she would enjoy wearing Here is her water water bottle <laughs> Water bottle and I will open this last and show you all of its contents here is her washcloth. It is a magic towel from Dollar Tree and it has Ariel on there, just looking very hopeful. Here is her pink uh, calculator. It is a um, solar calculator, but it also has an enclosed battery. I will tape the off button shut before I put this back in her box. I have included this utensil for her. It is a plastic spoon and it comes with this little case um, so that you can take it in your lunchbox and keep it clean. Um, I have included my favorite flashlight. This is from Daiso. It is a crank flashlight, so it does not require um, batteries or solar power. As long as the LEDs inside here are good, this flashlight will shine bright. Um, here is her soap. I have included a soap saver and this reusable Ziploc baggie for her. I've also included this sewing kit. Um, I got this kit, I believe, at, uh, I know I got this kit at Dollar Tree. So it actually comes in, sorry, Bella is eating her dinner right here, right next to me in the kitchen. Um, it actually comes in a plastic, um, uh, I had one right over here. Anyway, it comes in a plastic box and I take it out of the box, and this is um, what some of the toothbrushes from Dollar Tree come in. And so I take the toothbrush out and I put um, all of the contents back in it, and then I added two more embroidery flosses down there. Um, and then it also has this measuring, this paper measuring tape. So I really like converting the sewing kit into a flat one because it goes, it takes up almost no room. Um, I have included for her this fun brush. This is one of those compact brushes. Um, isn't it pretty? When you open it, this side is a mirror and this side is the brush that pops out. Um, I get these specific ones that are bejeweled from Walmart. They are in the party section, and you get four of them for about $5.50. Um, they are cuter than the ones at Dollar Tree, but I think um, if you can tell, like, I feel like the ones from Dollar Tree will give you a better brush. This one's just a little bit wobbly, um, but still a great find and an adorable thing to bring a smile to this little girl. I have included in here this necklace for her and it has a Little Mermaid on it and a keychain with Ariel in her human dress. Isn't she beautiful? I love that teal color. So pretty. And I have included this mermaid-esque Scrunchy. I got this at Dollar General. 
um, and, and I believe it was one of those uh, that I paid 15 cents because it was on clearance. So that is what is in her little organza bag. Um, I have also included this packable backpack. It folds out to a big full-size backpack, but at this time it is compact um, for shipping. Here on the bottom is her colored pencils. Um, whenever I include a detailed adult coloring book, I like to include a full set of colored pencils. And because I did give her um, the other smaller coloring book, I have included the set of eight crayons for her. And here is her chapstick. It is a watermelon scented chapstick. I have given her large scissors. These are from Dollar Tree. They are the Westcott brand. Here is her ruler. It is one of those that clicks all the way out. It does only have centimeters on it, uh, but it does fold back down into about roughly six inches, and it has these beautiful Disney princesses on it. And the very last thing in her box is this fan, which I think is just gorgeous. It has her and flounder, and it says the Little Mermaid on it. Um, I love these fans that I get at Daiso. So um, the last thing that we will go over is her water bottle. It is very packed full. And let's see what all we can get. Um, these are, if I'm going to put a large water bottle, I like to put this one. It is from Dollar Tree, and it's the kind with the large mouth opening, so it doesn't require a straw. Um, and then you can tell right there, this is how you would get a drink. So let's see what is in here. It's very full and right on top we have two play rings for her, a starfish, and a pink marquee. I have included this sports whistle and a little mermaid lanyard, which means I got it at Daiso and not at Dollar Tree. But here is what is on her lanyard with Ariel. So cute. I have also included two felt stickers. This is her princess wand and her crown with a little jewel right on top. Here is her toothbrush. It is purple with a cap on it. I've included two figurines. There is a purple unicorn and a pink unicorn. Here is another Little Mermaid keychain. This one is from Dollar Tree. She is so cute. So she has two keychains. Where did the other one go? Um, and I really like that because she has her mermaid keychain and her human aerial keychain and they can you know if she wants to play they can play in the same little world i've also included here um, her fingernail files and her fingernail clippers here is a bow for her hair which matches her um, bandana and I have included some little hair rubber bands in purple. She has two Hot Wheels. They are really fun colors. Ugh. Okay, there we go. There's this one and this one, and they are just bright, colorful, and a lot of fun for anyone to play with. And the last things in here, that I can get to at the moment um, are some hair barrettes. 
There are these two rainbow ones and I got these at Daiso. I thought they were really pretty. And here um, are some bobby pins. And they are, there's two red ones, two pink ones, and two blue ones. Here is her pink, pinkish purplish cross. And if she wants to, she can use some of her embroidery floss and make this into a necklace. And then I have included a set and the other two pieces, they're down in the bottom of the water bottle, but there are two pink barrettes and two blue barrettes for her. Just like some of my other bottles um, that you have seen earlier this season, I did originally pack her socks down in the bottom of this water bottle, which means that at this time they will not come out easily for her. So I will no longer pack like this going forward. Next year I will not do that. Uh, but I did wanna let you know that she does have a pair of very nice purple and gray socks in there and um, two clothes pins. So that is my aerial box for this year. Um, here is her card that I will include in the bottom when I repack this. And at the, at the end of her letter, um, it says that God loves you, Jesus loves you, we love you, and you are beautiful. And that is my message to all of the girl boxes this year. I just wanted them to know how wonderfully, wonderfully loved they are and how beautifully created they were or are. Or are. They were created beautifully, but they currently are beautiful. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to miss you guys, and I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving next week. Just uh, one last reminder, because I have to say it, it is still collection time for the 2021 year of Operation Christmas Child. Check your local listings um, on SamaritansPurse.org, and they will let you know when the last time to collect in your area is. So each collection center gets to set their own hours and their own days. And I know since a lot of them are churches, Sunday is the last day for a lot of them, but the official collection week does go until Monday. So don't put it off until Monday thinking you're just gonna show up at your local collection center because they might be closed. So be sure to check on the website, um, pack up all your boxes, make a trip out of it, um, have a great time. And if I don't see you guys, I hope that you have a great holiday season coming up, that your Christmas is wonderful and all of your family time and friends time and time at work is just a, a good month of December and for the remainder of the year. And I look forward to showing you guys some hauls in the coming weeks. Um, in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.